Hey there. Are you tired of struggling with this annoying can't connect to this network error that pops up every time you try to connect to a Wi-Fi network on your Windows computer? Well, today is your lucky day. I'm here to show you the best ways to troubleshoot this error and get you back online in no time. So, let's not waste any more time and jump into the tutorial. I understand that it can be frustrating when you encounter issues connecting to a Wi-Fi network that you previously saved. Various factors could contribute to this issue. One possible reason could be that you recently changed your network settings, which may have caused your device to no longer recognize the network. Another possible reason could be related to the name of your Wi-Fi network. For example, if you've given your new router the same name as your old router, your device may be having trouble distinguishing between the two networks based on their MAC address. To fix this issue, you can try the following steps. First, open the Windows settings and click on Network and Internet. From there, select the Wi-Fi tab and click on Manage Known Networks. Here, you'll see a list of all the Wi-Fi networks that you've previously connected to. Look for the network that's giving you trouble and select it. This will bring up its properties as well as a Forget button. Click on the Forget button to remove the network from your device's memory. Once you've forgotten the network, try reconnecting to it by clicking on the Wi-Fi symbol in the taskbar. You should see a list of available networks including the one you just forgot. Select it and enter your password if needed. Your device should now be able to connect to the network without any issues. In case the previous troubleshooting method does not work, you can try this secondary solution. Connectivity issues may arise due to a disabled DHCP client in your Windows services. To ensure that the DHCP client service is functioning properly, it needs to be enabled and set to automatic. To verify if the DHCP client is working, follow these steps. Right-click on the taskbar and select Task Manager from the menu. From the Task Manager window, select the Services tab and click on Open Services at the bottom of the screen to open the Windows Services console. Alternatively, you can search for Windows Services by clicking on the Windows logo and typing services. Click on the first result with the gear image to open the Windows Services console. Now browse through the services to find the DHCP client in the list and ensure that the status is set to running. If it says stopped or disabled, right click on it and select properties. Set the startup type to automatic then select Apply and then OK to save the changes. If this troubleshoot also doesn't work for you, let's proceed and enable airplane mode. Click on the globe icon at the bottom of the screen in the taskbar. Then click on airplane mode to enable it. This feature allows the user to disable and cut off all the connections of the system. Now turn to your router or MiFi and restart it. Restarting the router can sometimes help fix internet connectivity issues. If your router has been off for quite some time, a quick restart could get it back to working. So after the router is back online, then go back and click on the airplane mode to disable it to connect to the Wi-Fi network successfully. Sometimes, disabling and then re-enabling the network interface card can help you fix this network issue. To do this, Open the Windows Run dialog by pressing the Windows key plus R on your keyboard or by searching for Run in the Windows search box. Once the Run dialog is open, type in ncpa.cpl and click on OK to open the Network Connections window. Right-click on the Wi-Fi network and select Disable. After a few seconds, right-click again and select Enable. After completing these steps, restart your computer and attempt to connect to your Wi-Fi network again. If the previous solution does not fix your connection issue, try adding the network manually. First, open the control panel and click on Network and Internet. 
then click on Network and Sharing Center to open the dialog box. Next, click on Set up a connection or network to open another dialog box, and then click on Manually connect to a wireless network. Here, please make sure to enter the correct credentials for your router, including the router name, security type, and password. Once you've entered the information, click on the Next button. Then, click on Change Connection Settings, and when the dialog box opens, click on OK. After that, you should see a notification in the taskbar indicating that you are successfully connected to your router. If you are still experiencing the can't connect to this network issue, you can run the Network Adapter Troubleshooter to find and fix adapter-related errors. Here's how to run the troubleshooter. Open the Windows Settings, click on Update and Security. In the left pane, select Troubleshoot. Then click on Additional Troubleshooters. Scroll and locate Network Adapter. Click on it and run the troubleshooter. Wait for the program to run and detect any problems with your computer's network adapter. Select Wi-Fi from the network listed and click on Next to run the network adapter diagnostics. After the diagnosing finishes, restart your router and try to connect to the network to see if the problem has been resolved. Resetting your computer network can help solve the can't connect to this network problem. To do so, open the Windows settings and select Network and Internet. In the left pane, make sure Status is selected. In the right pane, scroll and click on Network Reset. Click on the Reset Now button. This will remove network adapters, reinstall them, and set other networks back to their original settings. This action will restart the computer. After your computer has finished restarting, you can revisit the network in Internet Settings. Then, click on Change Adapter Options to open the Network Connections page. Right-click on Wi-Fi and select Properties from the drop-down menu to open a dialog box. Scroll through the connections and uncheck IPv6 Internet Protocol. Proceed and click on the OK button. One reason for disabling the IPv6 protocol is that some router administrators may not support or be more familiar with the IPv4 protocol when monitoring and managing networks, particularly when working with older legacy systems. This can help ensure seamless network management and compatibility with existing infrastructure. Here are some additional tips to consider when troubleshooting internet connection issues. First, always check if there is any software installed on your computer that might have strict firewall rules or security policies blocking your router. Some antivirus programs, such as Norton and Malwarebytes, include network intrusion protection that acts as a software firewall to filter and block malicious traffic. Additionally, make sure to check if you are within the signal range of your router. The further away you move from the router, the slower your internet connection will be, and if you move too far, the connection may fail altogether. It's also important to be aware that other wireless signals in your location can interfere with your router's connection range. Finally, keep in mind that your internet service provider might block your account if you exceed bandwidth caps. To avoid this, make sure to keep your subscription updated and be mindful of your data usage to prevent your internet service provider from restricting your network access. I hope one of these tips helps you fix the can't connect to this network issue. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Stay tuned for more tutorial videos in the future.